Hi, I'm Frody and welcome to this video. On this channel I deliver the best ideas from the best self-help books, so if you're into improving your life and making the most out of it, you can consider subscribing. Today we're looking at the three best ideas from The Future is Faster Than You Think by Peter Diamandis and Stephen Kotler. I am uh, really excited about this book. It was uh, really fascinating because uh, uh, in it, Peter and Kautler explain all the incredible technological advancements that are being made and have already been made. They're mostly discussing uh, what's already here and what's gonna come during the next decade. And uh, that seems like a very short time period and like nothing much could really be happening. But it's really extraordinary how much is actually being developed right now. And uh, in this video, we're going to look at some of those advancements. But to give you a little overview of what we're going to talk about, here are the three best ideas. First, we're going to look at the power of cooperation. Second, we're going to look at some of the incredible advancements that are being made in technology. And third, we're going to look at the need for continuous improvement. So to start with the first big idea, the power of cooperation. One of the main uh, points in the book is the idea of exponential technology, which means that there isn't just one type of technology like artificial intelligence that's being developed and used to improve our lives and society, but several, and they are in a way converging by coming together such that we can use them and uh, kind of create this exponential growth and development, which is one of the reasons why uh, in the last 10 years, our uh, technology has advanced much more than the previous 2,000 years. One uh, of um, the main technologies is artificial intelligence, another is the internet, and another is 3D printing. Now, they are powerful on their own, but if you combine them, for example, by uh, printing an artificially intelligent robot that can search and browse the internet or whatever, then it becomes exponentially more powerful. And this is a really cool idea because it shows you that even during the next decade, some incredible developments are gonna be made much faster than we actually think, which is one of the reasons that the book is called that. The future is faster than you think. But the main idea I wanna point out here is the power of cooperation, which means that alone we can achieve quite incredible things, but together, we can achieve extraordinary things. So who would you need to cooperate with right now to achieve your next goals? Our second big idea is some incredible advancements in technology. The authors talk about so many fascinating uh, gadgets and technologies that are being developed right now. So um, let's look at, f at a few of them. For example, flying cars. They're already here. The thing is that the companies haven't found a way to commercialize it and make it cheap enough so they will make money. Another one is uh, Elon Musk has spoken about these rockets, personal rockets that can take you into any place in the world in one hour. And it would only cost as much as a normal flight ticket. Third, we're colonizing Mars. Again, we're featuring Elon Musk. Uh, he is um, by 2030. He has a goal to send the first group of people to colonize Mars and really establish a new yeah, colony there. A fourth one is 3D printing. Not only are we starting to be able to develop uh, 3D printing of things like chairs or different kinds of tools, but also very complex things like computers and veins and organs, which is really cool to think about. A fifth technology that is really cool is uh, 5G internet to everyone around the planet. But several companies are working on this. I believe it's Google, perhaps Richard Branson and Elon Musk. And uh, they're all like competing about who is um, going to get it, get there first. Please correct me if I'm wrong here. And um, the cool thing is that three to four billion people don't have internet right now. So knowing what happened during the Renaissance when many more people got access to uh, books through the printing press, 
wonder what uh, you, you start wondering what would actually happen when half of the people on the entire planet suddenly gets access to technology and all of the information that brings. So that would be really cool. Now these are some of the technological advancements that are being made that we can look out for in the future. The third big idea is the need for continuous improvement. If there is one idea we need to get out of this book and all this futuristic thinking about what will um, start to happen in the next decade or two or three, it's that we constantly need to learn, develop new skills and stay on top of the new developments that are being made. Or else, like many of the companies that did not go online when the internet came, we will just fall down to ruin. So stay on top, keep reading, keep learning, for example, by looking at uh, these book reviews and actually reading the books that I'm featuring. But um, that's a quick look at The Future is Faster Than You Think by Peter Diamandis and Stephen Cother. What's the one idea you like the most and how can you start applying it to your life today? I'm really grateful that you watched this video, and if you liked it, please give it a like, share it with your friends who might also like to have a look into the future, and subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on many more big ideas from the best self-help books. This is Frog signing off, and I wish you an awesome day.